there's no question being culturally sensitive improves patient adherence because that just that's just a matter of identifying with the patient, you know, just just having them develop trust for you. And once they develop trust for you, then they'll they'll do what you want. And so I I when I speak to residents now, they're all young. I I have a terrible sense of direction. And so I whenever I would get to go and use maps or something, I ended up stopping at a gas station and asking someone, where is, you know, where is this place or that place? And if I didn't trust the answer, the answer didn't come out sort of like, you know, we go three streets, make a left, then and it'll be right there on your left-hand side. If they pause or didn't deliver the instructions well, I'd smile and nod, and then I'd leave and go to another gas station and ask someone else. And so the same patients are the same way. They're not going to take your medications if they don't trust you or sense that, that you have their best interests at heart. And so I spent a lot of time building trust, and then after Americans have disproportionately low trust, 45%. I didn't know this when I wrote the, until I wrote the book, that 45% of African-Americans distrust healthcare providers regardless of their race or background, 45%. So whenever I walk into my office for the new patient, I didn't know and they're sitting there looking at me, I was like, what did I, what did I do? I just walked in the room. Now I know that, that, that it's a thing, right? You're one of the 45, right? 45% that, that, that I have to spend a little bit more time schmoozing. In the old days, I might get an attitude. And now we're both sitting there with an attitude because you're mad at me and I just met you. you know, so I think um, we build, in order to build trust, you've got to spend some time. You've got to know we've got this population. I, I do have, and that 10% is not African-American. I've got Asian-Americans. I've got East Indians. I've got, you know, and, I, and I, my approach to them is 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 different, and they and they if I if you listen, they'll direct you, you know, into into what you should do, what you could talk about, the topics, and that's just being sensitive to to the person. That's that's all that is. And so I think um, one thing the book does is sort of talks about the abuses that have, briefly that African Americans. Why are they so mad? Why don't they trust you know the doctors? And sort of give you a perspective. It's not just a random distrust, but it's really an earned distrust if you know a little bit of the history. And then we just have to spend a little bit more time, you know, building trust.